okay, this is a regularly scheduled, yet postponed until Tuesday, me- meeting of the Sunderland Board of Awesome. I was waiting for that. <laughs> We've got a handful of pieces of business tonight. We're going to talk about some minutes for a couple nights. We had interviews last week. We have some candidate finalist selections out of those interviews. Town administrator finalist questions. We have some drafts that have come in. There's a gun property uh, by the CONCOM last week. And then an assistant payroll clerk we're going to talk about uh, in the treasurer collector's office. But before we get going, hats off to everybody who marched uh, over the last two days for uh, the Western Mass Food Bank. A laudable effort. And let's hope uh, the goal of ending that hunger is met. That said, any other board updates before we take off? Tom, you were at this meeting with seniors. Chip? Uh, we, we are just having a meeting with seniors to, for the uh, South County. We were talking about um, things and footprints and programs and life going forward for the senior center. So there's, I think there's hopefully um, positive things. I think we're I, th- I think it's pretty much agreed that something has to be done with the location, um, but that's that's what we're working on. So, cool, David. Anything? Um, we have a Union Thirty Eight negotiation meeting scheduled for December fourth. Mm-hmm. Um, that's like next week, right? Yeah, they were trying to get another one scheduled. Um, I wasn't able to make it either of the nights, the last mm-hmm. two nights, and I don't know if there was. There was some conflicting information about a poll and a posting, so I'm not sure. So if they had it, so I'm gonna email Open that. the superintendent and see what you know what what transpired. So um, negotiations are entering a new phase, and I'm sure that uh, there'll be public releases of information shortly. So super. And again, this is Union 38. Correct. Yep. Got it. <clears throat> yeah, the other other ones were settled long ago. So right. Tom, I also went to uh, a meeting <clears throat> last night concerning. Um, roads and North Main Street and out here and Is that the village center group. Well, yeah, they're, they're, the, the the village center yep. and they. It was interesting. They they raised a question about milling, um, and I talked to George today, who talked to CSA, uh, CHA and got clarification. And basically, on the section of the road where the utilities are being replaced underneath, it's a full full recl- reclamation. They'll go right down to the dirt and work up. Right. Uh, on the areas that don't um, need, they, they feel that the base is in sufficient condition that they're going to mill, mill three inches um, and return with four inches so hmm. of, of new pavement. So... They, at the last meeting, they kind of misspoke a little bit because they said they were going to mill like an inch and three quarters and then put back four inches. Well, right. that's not. Right. It's going to be too high. And, and that, that was a miss. They misspoke. So it's much. Mm-hmm. They also talked about the removal of the islands. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, the design? In the design. And. and mm, I didn't ask for a vote of the group, but it appeared that most of the people present at the meeting um, relayed that they thought what was said or agreed upon was they wanted a more, they weren't against the idea of the islands, they were just, they were looking for a more um, welcoming way Uh versus the stone you know the granite curbing blah 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 the way it was designed so i did talk to george today about that and he did he he said one reason he wouldn't favor the the granite curbing was because of uh, our new truck with the wing plow he'd have to bring up the wing plow it wouldn't be enough but i did talk to a couple people and they said that you could install a road level um, 
kind of islands. We like oh, some day yeah. the tactile change in the surface. Or... Right. So they wondered if we could put that back on the table. Okay. With see see and 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 again as a traffic calming mm-hmm. device and and again there's still a concern about speed. So maybe if we could talk to CHA about mm-hmm. um about if there's any road level things that we could do on that. So pavement and, treatment or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, the yep. effectiveness of it. I'd and be we, curious to know yeah. that. So and we also they talked about um with the fur cog last night the um intersection here and roundabouts. Intersection being 47116. Yes. So people would get passionate about that but haven't seen a single drawing around it. Yes. Well, and there's 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 research around both both designs. Well, many designs. Well, sort sort of no. Um according to Mass Highway, um there's been no money set aside yet even for design. Mhm. So I was I was just not not necessarily talking about the scheduling of the project, but the way people envision something and get passionate about it. That's it's, what I was driving oh, at. It's okay. Very early. We can see so so and there there was one member of the other group that was very adamant um, that a roundabout wasn't a good um, for a for a big truck village mm-hmm. in a village center, oh, and and was concerned about. Um, pedestrians, both young and old, Fair. and yeah. and the use in a and and the planner from the Cog said, well, in fact, it's actually safer. Roundabouts have a great safety, mm-hmm. um, better safety hmm. than traffic lights. Um, but hmm. the and the concern was, well, how do you teach an eight-year-old across the street if you're not pushing a light? So there, there, it, was, yeah. it was it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a good it was a um, interesting conversation. Sure. Um, and and but there, there's got a lot to be a lot of int- there's got a lot to be a lot of a int- lot more discussion about that. Nice. Okay. Anything else, Tom? That's it. So we're going to see a couple of emails from uh, Superintendent Modesto about having the. So the Capital Planning Committee um, walk through with the building uh, administrator, building administrator, I'll call him that, mm-hmm. buildings and grounds for Sunderland Elementary. Likewise. Fac- facilities director. Facilities director. There. There's a nice, nice moniker. Excellent. Facilities director. Uh, and have them uh, meet with us and go for a tour of Sunderland Elementary to kind of mesh up the... Uh, review of the building by the architects that's a basis for our capital plan moving forward and then uh that the, if there is any conflict uh tension or comp- complementary with uh the facilities managers facilities director i think is actually a facilities director's uh notes about going forward mm-hmm. so we'll schedule that over the next 60 days or so as we move into capital planning also, I think uh, there was a note from our, uh, Peter uh, Gagarin about the same thing. Uh, likewise, the Frontier Capital Planning Committee meeting uh, for December is in some kind of cool whiz bang Google Calendar schedule thing. So I'll reply to it and see what everybody else says. Yep. So that that's that's coming around, uh, and that, that's that's all that I've got. Uh, let's take a look at the minutes of November 18 and 19. So we were on for a pair of a pair of meetings. They're specifically centered around uh, some general business and then some interview. Motion on the 19th. Uh, second. A motion made and seconded on the 19th. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And the 18th are running around somewhere. So we'll 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 revisit those. What's that? Nope. Hang on. They're on the back side of the agenda sheet. Thank goodness. Yeah. No, it's two sided. All right. I like That's it. That's all right. There's yeah. not 200 pages. There's three. I tend to do that. That's all right. Yeah. Well, whatever, whatever you did, Just it worked paper. out great. So the 18th is on the back of the actual agenda sheet, and that's another one that was uh, some. Bridgeside Grill work. There was the adaptation. Of, sorry, the physical adaptation of their space and the our uh, alcohol hearing. Alcohol hearing, and then minutes, and then new business. 
That's motion. Right. And I'll second on the back side. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Uh, motions made and seconded also included in this uh, was a two-year price guarantee proposal for our general liability property insurance from Maya as well. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three to zero, please. Okay. Mm, excuse me. I like that, actually. That's good stuff. All right. So next up, we have candidate finalist, finalist selection, and this under candidate finalist selection is for uh, town administrator, interim town administrator. Uh, if I could start just by suggesting that we have interviewed, suggesting, we have interviewed uh, five candidates. We've advertised for interim and for town administrator. Two of the candidates, I think, said they were interested in the interim piece, uh, and then all were interested in the final piece, right? right? Full-time position. Now we know that the positions uh, currently budgeted for seventy-eight thousand, advertised for mid seventies. There's the salary component. I, I understand the salary component, but at some point we've got to take another step and ask about another set of interviews, right? Yep. So out of five, do we want to interview all five coming back for a second interview? Mr. Chair, at this time I'd like to make a motion that we inter re-interview for as finals Jeffrey Kravitz and Sarah Lavalley. Is there a second for discussion? We're starting with the discussion part. Second for discussion. Yep. Okay. Discussion, David. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I had the same pick from one of them, and I was I, I, I could go a, num a number of ways for the other one. So mm -hmm. um, it's interesting because they're, each one is so different in style and... <laughs> you know, yeah. and it's solid um, experience. And we saw a pretty good yeah. breath. We saw we we right. were we had the we had the benefit. The town of Sunderland had the benefit of bringing people who have been in um, municipal government or municipal government to public service right. for in in one case you know pushing twenty five years all the way down to the, the five year window between elected and and it was. A, I, I think the town has done itself well with the bank of candidates that have come, and I think I, I feel good about any one of them. So, I'll, that, I'll, I'll, put, I'll leave it at that. That's, right. That's my dissertation. It's the closest I come. Yep. In summation, right? I would agree. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I could work with that pair. Okay. Any other names you're interested in adding, or um, you want to just go forward with two? Let me see. Hold on. I could add in. Well, look at the name. I remember the name of one of the other candidates. Um, I mean, we could throw in a third. Do you want to have? I was kind of mentally earmarking three as a mm -hmm. number, uh -huh. not not so much. In a way, to be better, to have maybe Sorry? a third one. Do you want to? Do you have a motion? Um, I have to remember the name. Hmm? I have to remember the name. So, could I suggest that in, inside of the deliberations, we always have opportunity to go back. We're not closing a position. Right. Right, and not closing a window saying anybody that isn't isn't possible to re-interview. Yeah. Then that's fine. I'll go. I'll I'll second that. Well, we have a second for discussion already. Yeah. Right. Yep. So Tom's motion was for uh, revisiting. Uh, Extending a second interview opportunity for uh, Sarah Lavalley and Jeffrey Kravitz. Yep. Mr. Chair, mm -hmm. if you if you want three, I'd like to uh, recommend Angeline Lopes Ellison. Uh, amend my Ellen. Uh, I'll amend my uh, motion if I if I could be allowed to do so. That was the name I was trying to recall. So yes. Okay. So, so that, that would be. Um, we have a motion made and seconded for discussion. Yep. That's fine. We have an amendment on the, uh, an amendment on the, on the uh, motion right now. Yeah. Well, I just, how about, how about make it easy? Yeah. I resend my... Resend your original? original my one. original. Okay. okay. Mr. Chair, at this time, I resend my original 
I on my next motion would be that I'd like to put forward the following three names: Jeffrey Kravitz, Sarah Lavalley, and Angie, as she asked to be called, yep. Angie Lopes Ellison. Okay. Is there a second? Second. So we had a motion made and seconded, and that's in keeping with uh, your um, working toward a third finalist. Yeah, yep. okay. no, that's, that's fine. Yep. So a motion made and seconded for uh, the three names, uh, Jeff Cabritz, Sarah LaValle, uh, Angie Lopez Ellison, as again, as she likes to be called. Um, that said, any more discussion on names? If there's none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three zero, please. Okay. So next up, second interviews, right? Yep. We can reach out for a second interview. And Tom has forwarded some initially proposed questions. And if we could, over the next 48 hours, uh, send in to David, uh, yourself, and myself totally any right. questions that are kind of necessarily duplicate from the first interview or something that was from the first interview that we thought a little more follow-up. Yeah, a little more follow-up would be helpful. Yep. Uh, and then uh, mash them down to less than 200, but not less than 150. Sounds good. Just a, a small light smattering Small light questions. Exactly. Tom, what do you think? That's fine. I, I just, I think we could finalize Monday night because we have a meeting fi Monday night, right? Correct. Yes. Yep. And, and I would also say that I, um, next week I am not available for interviews on Wednesday evening. Okay. So we'll shoot for Monday and potentially Tuesday. And, and I would say probably not to have meeting uh, interviews on Monday just so we can finalize our questions. Correct. So we'll target Tuesday, but not Wednesday. or with, So any day that's not Monday or Wednesday. Wednesday. I would agree. Got it. And that works for me, too, because I've I've got that Union 38 meeting got Wednesday. It. So, yep. so Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm okay with those. Okay. Okay, so we'll get our questions in. So again, our process is going to be a second interview. And again, we have a, we have a, a budgeted position. We have um, some opportunity as you build the budget going forward. But everybody knows we have a budgeted position. And Tom's first pass of questions are in place. We'll get our second rounds of questions from David and I, coordinate with you, and then consolidate and move forward. So share, uh, excuse me. If you wouldn't mind, Cindy, uh, reaching out to those three sure. and uh, seeing if Tuesday, Thursday, Friday of next week uh, makes sense for them if they're available. Okay. All right. So next any, up. Any particular Sorry. time to start? Six thirty again, or you want to try earlier? Is it? To me, it doesn't matter any of those days. Okay. You want to do it at six? Six is fine. Six six thirty, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, six is fine. Okay. Shoot for that. You just oh, want to do one. I think one. Interview. I think one would make sense in that it's a second interview. And in six thirty, be fine. So six thirty then. Per night, one per night. One yeah, per night. One per night. And I say that only because you know, can questioning coming back and forth. Like any candidate coming for a second interview is likely to have their own questions, and it may be a more in-depth discussion. And I'd hate to have someone waiting in the wings until nine o'clock at night or whatever, because right. we start really getting into it. And then you don't have overlap of the people at the same time. And Great point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up, we have um, voted for um, prior meeting about the gun APR. Gun APR is a 50 plus acre piece up here, and uh, we were notified last week by the by the Conservation Commission Chair that the gun APR had been uh, substantively, substantively approved and needs to move to the next level. The Chair recognized that there is monies available in the Conservation Fund and or APR, but I think just the, just the Conservation Fund, and uh, that was to be moved forward. And again, we voted on that approve when we were given writ and right. made that motion but now this is a this is a, a piece of warning the public that a big a large portion of currently farmed parcel on 47 Montague Road uh, may well be in the final steps of moving to APR I think it's a wonderful a wonderful um, addition to our APR catalog in that although it kind of isn't necessarily landlocked 
but it's a big piece in an area that uh, has only a handful of big pieces. So congratulations to conservation, as well as our help from the folks at the state and uh, our folks um, at the local level. Uh, Treasurer Collector, Office Assistant Payroll Clerk Appointment Recommendation. Bang. So we have a recommendation from Treasurer Collector Heather Davis. Recommend uh, Joanne Beagle, Bagel, B-E-I-G-E-L. Beagle, pick one. Doesn't come with a pronunciation. It doesn't come with a pronunciation key. I only know Joanne. So. There you go. Okay, Joanne. Joanne, there you go. Highly skilled in the payroll world. Great asset. Office environment, as well as the task being asked of. Been in contact with their former employers. Highly recommended by them as well. I'm going to say B E I G. So B or B uh, would work up to 10 hours bi-weekly, a salary of $22 an hour. Position is non-benefited and part-time. So we had payroll clerk, and this is a turnover in the payroll clerk's job. Yes. And that's all that that really boils down Prior to. Prior payroll clerk retired. Yep. I did interview all the candidates yep. with Heather. Yep. So she does have a Harper's payroll experience. Cool. So, that's helpful. And she's so. available for part time. Can't go wrong. Position. And it's a 10 it hour. That's the fill, maximum right. 10 hour. So, so it's for payroll and backup assistance and yep. other. So other. we've got Harper experience, mm -hmm. payroll experience, municipal bit, mm -hmm. and available part time. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Motion. Yes. Second. Motion is made and seconded for the appointment. All those in favor? Aye. 3 to 0, please. And that'll be until, well, the next appointment cycle. See how it plays out. Okay, so we've had uh, some firewall migration. Uh, Cindy and uh, I were talking uh, prior about allowing access to p through the firewall being set up to uh, do some work remotely as a as a as a as a function. You know, we've got a accountant that works through a firewall. We've got you know any of our administrators, any of people who would be able to sign on and work through a firewall. I on a personal level, I don't see an issue with that. Knowing that, you know, if, if you're going to steal the whole the whole know. kitty, we, we know right. where to get you, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Um, it's just a lot of work, and it would be a lot of stuff would be a lot easier for me rather than emailing back and forth to myself that I could actually get in there, do the right. PDF thing that I need to, or whatever. If I'm not in, I could do it remotely and still be able to. We just whitelist you. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, there's a lot of things. The only thing I would say, Mr. Chair, is that I'd like to make it. Uh, uh, Time, yeah. So it so and, and it, why I say that is yeah. that if someone leaves, correct? Then and but they could maintain it and it just like keys, you get yep. you start handing out keys yep. and yep. Yep. and five years later it's like seventy people have keys. Sure. So actually, Tom, building, I think you used the word whitelist. Mm. I don't know if it's a if it's a, a a term specific to the IT side of the fence, but if it is, maybe we could have our IT provider provide a whitelist of who's already on it. Right. Who can right. get through the firewall? Which and we then, already know. We had the discussion today. Yep. So um, I know that because he was reviewing everything with me. Yep. And so it's a very short list. Cool. It's the accountant. <laughs> right. 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 No, not us. So no interest. <laughs> yeah, no. We have a very, very, very short list. Um, but he did discuss maybe adding a, a license or two more. We are allowed one group license. But the remote ones would need one per, so yeah. um, one one would be shared. So right now, um, highway goes through our firewall remotely, yep. and so does library. So them along with me would be sharing it, and so okay. he recommends one or two more, mm -hmm. just to kind of allow some flexibility there, so right. that if we're all using it or you got a little time, we're not drawing the bandwidth, and we're also not bumping each other off so yeah. chances are I would be using it in the evening and and I did talk to him about you know how do we maintain the security when people leave or things like that change right. so right. I've already had that discussion with him so it was back to, it was back to that list that's that's, you know. that's well, an executive exactly. decision yeah. to yeah. contact them yeah. and say this person has been removed or no longer with the town and those right. permissions should be removed. and that's a remote cut Cool. So that's really easy for them to do. And, it's typically, um, like an HR department would do right. that. And exactly. since we don't have an HR department, right, right, we now just we're, keep that list. We're, we're 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 in the process of pooling with Conway and a whole bunch of towns yeah, to do it. So yeah. if that works out, that could be a wonderful thing. Yeah. Yep. 
And right, right now our, our key handout, while that may be an issue for some, I also have to give out the alarm codes and yes. I cut those the minute somebody sure. leaves. Sure, right, and, that, and that's how you'd have mm -hmm. to do it, yep. And we don't recycle the numbers, we, we issue the Make ones. them go away. Mm -hmm. And it's a small enough pool of people that you know, Yeah. you know. But I know, you know, some don't use it as often, so it might be shared, but it's somebody in their department or yep. on their board or committee, so that's fine. Um, but we, we do monitor that, monitor yeah. that, and there's like 40-something people that have a code to get into the building, so. so we, can, we can work with the IT uh, vendor, because it is a vendor, it's not an employee, yeah. IT vendor, yeah. yep. and make sure that we uh, continue to manage that white list. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we could also put it so that when a town administrator is on board, my permissions could be removed too. So that that could be a contingent. It's um, dynamic. Regardless. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. Where I've been emailing stuff back and forth, and it makes it really hard with sure. certain things. It's to kind do. of a pain too. It right is, it. especially yep. if I'm not here and I'm away and I'm trying to put stuff online, right. and then somebody has to PDF it for me and then email that to me and. This way I could do it all right on my computer. It's not gonna go on mine, it's gonna still be on my yep. on my computer here. This is the first time PDF's been used as a verb. <laughs> PDF yeah, no, no. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> PDF, PDF format. PDF it, right? Yeah, that? <laughs> yep. Okay, so I don't see any so. particular issue with that. And no, no that's reason fine. to vote at the board. That's just simply administrative. Plus then if you know you need to do something something happens, you need to update something on the website. Right. Right. You're you're in. Just that and that's happened a lot. So if somebody isn't here and they can't send me a PDF. Right. And then it turns something that could be like, you know, five minutes tops mm -hmm. into like yeah. protracted. Forever. Right. Yeah, exactly. And I don't have that ability at home on any of my stuff. So. Yeah. But I won't have like printers with me and things like that if I'm away. So this is our second migration, integration, firewall administration in a four year window. Mm -hmm. Right. We had the whole ransomware piece. We went through all that. I think that you know, was a that lot longer than four years ten, ago. Ten, well. Yeah, it's maybe. probably more like eight or nine. Okay, so <laughs> it's, it's, it seems yeah. like yesterday. I know it does, but it's, um, it's been a lot longer than But that. this, any IT group seemed to do a better, seemed to do a, a good job. They've been awesome. Yep. They've been really responsive. We've gotten a lot of work accomplished through them. We have a kiosk downstairs. Yep. We have a new payroll. Not, it's not even a computer. Mm -hmm. It's another kiosk type yep. of thing. Because that was really old, it was hooked to the old server, sure. so that had to go away. But then we lost a workstation, so we bought a. It's a refurbished unit to allow them to work on with a new screen, and it's, you know, just the firewall stuff. Their responsiveness, Great. getting that all up and running. A lot of bumps at mm -hmm. first, but they've been on it the whole time here with us, so that's Excellent. been really good. So one was last week, and ours was today. So for, for people who, who may or may not be keeping score out there, this was, I'll, I'll use a, a decade, because I think, I think, Frank, I think it was, I think was, I think it was frankly, that. Margaret did the original DLS audit when she was here. Or when yeah. Yeah. Margaret, yeah. Was town, Margaret was town administrator, yeah. there was originally a DLS audit. Then Sherry worked with, uh, Sherry, uh, another town administrator, worked with Community Compact. Mm -hmm. And this, this exercise, uh, I'm sorry, installation and execution right now are an extension of that combined DLS original survey, uh, community compact review, and now this install, and the total outlay for the town has been subsidized greatly by the state through the, through the community compact. And I give all, that whole thread, again, gets lost when we talk about today and appropriations or tomorrow and whatever. Again, a DLS out of a decade ago led to a fine integration, well, our second version now. So hopefully it makes uh, government that more, your government more streamlined, more efficient, and we can continue to, of course, this backed up against extra tasks, but that's another discussion, uh, you know, makes us more efficient each and every time. Along those lines, the green community folks are plowing all over the public safety complex yet again, yeah. <laughs> and bless that building, and uh, we'll continue working with them. Uh, we got a note from the fire chief that he and his he and his uh, direct uh, lieutenant oh, yes. hierarchy are out there looking at shiny red trucks in beautiful South Dakota. I hope the snow's nice, and uh, we'll see that and them it's been soon. Been cold up there. 
I think the tentative delivery was early January, as I understand. Yeah, right around New Year's. Right? Right? We've, remember, we've, we've, we have signed off for, and the treasurer has gone out and reached out to uh, lending agencies, and we have that set up as a uh, relatively quick buy-down on that asset. So, Five years. Right. Yep. Five-year window. It's less than some consumer car loans now. Yeah. It's actually less than my last van. Yeah. Thank God it didn't cost me six hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> it just feels it. Yeah. Right. Yep. Okay. Uh, any other any other news of import? If not, our next meeting. So this office is closed on the twenty eighth for Thanksgiving, and then uh, we're back on on Monday the second at the office, and then our next meeting, of course, is the second at uh, six thirty. Same bat channel, same bat time. Uh, that's important to bear in mind. What's that? This is, you're going to be talking about hazardous mitigation. Oh. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not right. The second is, um, you want this. We're going to have our questions. We're going to have a whole bunch of well, stuff. Well, that's what's scheduled so yeah. far. Yeah, we get some extension of uh, ours, the annual Blue Heron request right now. Yeah. We got Chris Collins coming in. The Pooba. Hey, FCAP. The Pooba is coming. What is Poobah? The Poobah is coming to talk about your salary. Oh, really? Yeah. He's going to be in. We're going to have another round of questions to kind of drill down on. I'll we'll hopefully have a schedule for uh, second interviews. And we should have an INI update. There was an email about hmm. uh, INI uh, on the survey section of the sewer system that was surveyed. And some people who have their sump pumps tied in yes, cut into, it out, and it's going to get disconnected. So I'm yep. sorry about that, but You're doing cut it out. Tests. Yep. Uh, that reality is just not allowed. Uh, there's no blending of those two systems for a whole host of reasons. There's a town bylaw that says any ejection pump's got to be able to be seen 20 feet beyond your building, and it's got to be daylighted. So you can't tie you can't tie into our system. So those who are get disconnected because you already know who you are. And for the guy who was about to dump leaves down at the cemetery last night in the black pickup truck, thanks for not dumping it when you saw me and my dog walking down there. There's no dumping leaves at the cemetery. Just saying. Okay. Yeah. He drove away slowly and it was good. No leaves blew out of the back of the truck. Um, so that's our schedule for the next, next week or so. Uh, everybody, um, make sure to... Uh, give thanks for the things you're thankful for yep. and uh, be honest to yourself and your friends and family. Anything else? Keep your stick on the ice and have a good Thanksgiving. Love it. What's that, Mr. Chair? Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. Motion is made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 706.